hey guys this is E with scrapbooking with me and this is number six in our series that we're going to be doing next week and this one this series is going to be called lovely junk mail series isn't that a twist lovely junk mail <laughs> but um this is number six I do believe so we've got uh three more I think so I'm going to send out an email today that gives you instructions on how you can enter the giveaway. It'll be a $50 gift card to our store, but um, you have to be a subscriber. That's the number one thing. So go ahead right now and hit that red subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. Not going to send you any other information, anything like that. We're not going to bug you to death. If you're signed up for our newsletter, you'll get the email today. If not, you need to go to the to our channel, our store. If not, you will need to go to our store link below. And when you see that little pop-up that says sign up for the newsletter, put your email information in there, and then you'll get a copy of the email that gives you all the instructions. But I know, number one, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. So right now, while we pause, we're going to pause, <laughs> go hit that red subscribe button. Okay, let's get into this tutorial. Now, these are some coffee dyed envelopes that one of you sent me I can't remember who don't even ask I try to remember but I get a lot of happy mail and I put it in my stash and all I can do is just pull it out and say one of my lovely subscribers sent it to me everything today is gonna be lovely <laughs> Melina's got me on that word so what we're gonna do this is partially glued together already so we're gonna go ahead and glue this little piece down and of course it wouldn't be starting of a video if my art glitter glue wasn't plugged. And I leave mine open a lot. That's why mine stops up. Yours probably would not do that because you probably would not leave it open as much as I do. But I leave mine open a lot because when I'm crafting, it's hard to go, you know, back and forth, back and forth. It takes a lot of time to open and close, open and close. So... I leave mine open and every so often what I do is I just take this little top off of it and I take it and put it in some hot soapy water let it sit for a while and it cleans it right up not a big problem but all right we got that glued down pretty good now I've just got this page laying here so that I'll know how big to make these this is just a little sheet that I did that'll go in my journal so what I'm going to do now is I want to make something a little different. Now this is actually probably wasn't a junk mail envelope. This was probably a regular envelope. I don't know. I can't tell. But you can do the same thing with junk mail envelopes. I'm going to fold it over like this because I want this to be a little double pocket. Really it's going to be a triple pocket. So I'm going to fold it like that. And so all I did was came down about an inch and a half, looks like. Uh, inch and three quarters, maybe. And then I just folded this straight over. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to cut this off. Now you can't leave too much of this sticking out because if you do, it'll be too wide for your page. I'm going to save that because we will definitely use that piece. So this will glue down on your page like this. You'll have a tuck here or a pocket here, a pocket there, and a pocket up here. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put some paper right here before I glue this piece down. And let's see, I'm just going to try to use some scraps that I have. I don't want to dig into new paper, so I'm just going to use some scraps. Let's see. I like the writing on that so and I'm just going to go down a little ways past where I'm going to fold that over that way I don't have to worry about you know you seeing the envelope down in there now it doesn't matter as much on this one because this is already coffee dyed but if you're doing a junk mail one you know you would need to probably ink it up first and then make sure that you get your paper really far down in there so that you don't see all of that junk mail envelope and I'm taking mine right out to the side you can you know leave some of that showing if you want also coffee dyed uh, junk mail envelopes are really pretty too if you coffee dye them and then do them this way it's just as good 
like I said, I just happened to pick this one up. I can do the same thing with some of these other ones, like these, and we may do that in a minute. Okay, now what we need to do is just make that fold again. I'm going to make sure I cut this off really close right there because that little piece would show if I don't. So now I'm just going to fold that across, and I, I just try to fold it pretty straight. It doesn't have to be perfect. What do I tell y'all? doesn't have to be perfect. I know you didn't sign up for singing, did you? Okay. And look at me. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm still fiddling with it. And the reason I am is because I want to make sure that this side is pretty even. This little piece that sticks out so it doesn't look odd. Got another little piece that's breaking right there that I'm going to fold down. We're going to put paper on it anyway so it doesn't matter. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and ink right here and punch a pull. So I hope you guys are doing good today. I hope you're enjoying this series. I am enjoying doing it for you. I know that much. I enjoy series. It, I, you don't struggle with every day. I mean, you still struggle with what to come up with, of course, because you always are coming up with something different. But you don't necessarily struggle with, you know, oh my goodness, which, what part of what am I going to make today? <laughs> So, all right, I'm going to punch a little pull there. And I always just like to check and make sure that it's still going to fit on my page, and it does. Now, this little pull I didn't punch very deep because you don't want this under here showing. And then I just punched a little one there and here. And I'm going to go ahead and ink around this, and then we'll add more paper. Now, this top right here, what we need to do... Let's cut this open. I don't think I did that first, so let's go ahead and do that. Need to cut that open and just make sure that it is open down in there, and it is. And probably we'll slip a little piece of paper down in there that'll just cover some of that blue. Okay. Over here, this is already cut open, so just ink it up. And then up here, you don't need to cut it open because it's going to slide in behind this fold. So it's not going to slide in the envelope. It's going to slide behind. So you don't have to cut that open. It's going to make a pocket on its own there. Okay. There we go. We got all of that inked. And I need some paper to cover this right here. And I shouldn't have cut my pulls, I guess, because now I'm going to have to cut them again. But that's okay. We'll get it done. Uh, I was trying to see if that's going to be big enough, but I don't think it will. It would if I put it the other way, but the writing goes this way, so I don't think I want to put it that way. So let's just find another piece. I've got plenty of scraps here. Mm, no, not them two together. I'm just trying to find some that will go with this. Let me see what I've got. And I may have to dig into, let's see, nope, not right enough. I'll just dig into another one of these little sheets. That will be fine. These are from Terry's Paper Treasures. And also, someone asked me, and I haven't been able to get back to the question, because I kind of got interrupted when I was doing my answering questions from you guys. But someone asked me to please tell them what that collection was that had the little mouse on it that I did, I think, a couple of days ago. That is also from Terry's Paper Treasures. And I linked it, I think, below that video. It'll definitely be linked below this video. If I don't get around to answering your question before... Um, before all of this goes up. Okay, we're going to need to put it down here. Like that. 
I think that'll be pretty. All right. What I'm going to do is probably put this on and then fold it around. Now, this paper is pretty tough. It is printed on probably 32 pound paper. So, a, a really, just a copy paper would probably be better. It would be lightweight and it'd fold around easier, but we're going to make this one do. Terry sent these to me and she printed them out on good, good paper. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut a little wider than this and that will give me enough to fold around. And the only reason I'm folding it around is just because if I try to trim that off right there, I may, you know, snip a little place in my envelope or something. So I'm just going to fold it around. It'd be just as good. Let's see, we can fold it around like that. I just need to cut this little piece off at the top here. And I'm just going to trim it just like that. So that'll fold around there, and then I need to trim this little piece down here, straight across. And I think we can move that now because we know that this is going to be the right width. I'm going to go ahead while I have these open, and I'm just going to punch my little hole again here. My thumb pull, since I got in a hurry and punched it way too early. Now, I'll go ahead and ink on this. And you don't necessarily have to ink on your envelope if you don't want to. I inked on mine because I was afraid some of my envelope would show. And I didn't want it to. So, I went ahead and inked on it. So that it would, it, in case I had some that showed, then I wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay. Now on this one right here, that little part, you need to just glue, no, you can actually glue all the way down. Alright, we need to glue all the way down right here. And it's not going to close up our pocket, so don't worry about that. I'm just going to glue that pretty good right there, just on the edge, because you don't want to close up this pocket. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and glue this back down. So I just fold it over nice and well and then glue it down. Like that. So now you have pocket here, pocket here, and pocket here. And we'll make some tags for those. Now let's do a little bit of decorating and making a tag or two. And this little project on this one will be finished but we will go ahead and do one for just using a junk mail envelope and I'll show you that it's just as easy it'll be a little bit narrower probably but just as easy okay now that tag is only going to go down to where you folded here so you're just going to make a short tag I do need one that's a little bit wider though that one's not quite wide enough so and these are the backings of ephemera that I save and I use those so I guess you could call this another junk mail use all right that's as long as we need our tag right there and I'm just going to do a little bit of measuring to make sure so about two inches on this tag and you know yeah that's short tags but when you've got a lot of them it doesn't matter that it's a little each one of them's a little short these will just be little journaling spots little tuck spots and you could even tuck something else in them other than a tag you could put you know just a, some little tickets or whatever in there that would be fine too now that one's a little bit wide for that so we'll probably Now these on the side are going to be very narrow because, or very little if you use a tag because it's only going to go as far as it can this way. 
So this is going to be about, ooh, let's see, let me mark it and I'll tell you. There. So that's only going to be about a one and a quarter inch tag that goes in this way. But that's okay. That That's plenty big enough for me to write on. And then here, I would just tuck some little tiny tags in. I wouldn't make great big tags to tuck in there. I just make some little tiny tags and tuck those in. So we're going to cut this piece off. And on these, I wouldn't necessarily make them into a tag. I would probably, ooh, I cut that crooked. I would probably just round, cover these with paper around the corners and then have them just as little tucks with a little pull on it. Isn't that cute? I don't want to cover that up, really. That's cute. Hmm, maybe I'll just cover this up. <clears throat> Let's see what it looks like when we're around the corner. Of course, that is a jet black tag, isn't it? I don't mind that. I just covered this up with something. And, of course, we'll have to put something on the back. But that, that little cluster of bees, beehives, and flowers there is cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover it with paper. This, this little area here. Oh, let's see. We might just tear off a little piece of this and put it down there. Yeah, let's do that. You can always come back and put a little tag or label or something on. You can always come back and put a little label on that if you wanted to. I'm just covering up the name of this, where these came from. So another use for junk mail. And we're not even covering up everything. This is not necessarily junk mail. Well, I guess it could be because it did come in my mail. <clears throat> but it is junk that normally would be tossed in the trash. But we're not going to toss it. We're going to use it. Okay, we've got that little piece there. I'm going to go ahead and ink the sides of it up real good. And maybe just a little word there and I think I'm just gonna grab my Tim Holtz uh, let's see let's use some tiny talk maybe or this is chit chat is what this is called oh this I thought this had some black in it but it doesn't we need a black one so we're going to have to go with this. And maybe we can find one word. All right, let's do this. It just says, let's do this. It says, cultivate kindness. And the thing is, you know, bees, to me, they cultivate, don't they? I mean, they're always working. They're little worker bees. Okay. So there is that. Let's tuck that in right there. And we'll get a little pull and put on it in a second. Well, really, I don't think we'll have to have a pull, but I do want to put some, some little something there just to bring the colors in since I did that in black. All right, let's cover this little guy. Now, if little tags and things like this don't interest you, then you can, do, you can leave that open and do your tags another way. I just think they're cute. Sometimes I just want a little tag or a little journaling card don't want a great big one. I might want to just put my thought on there. And it's just another way to use things. To use things up. Use your scraps too, because that's what we're doing here. Oh, we forgot to cover the back of that 
need to grab some paper cover that back and then here again well let's cover the back and then we'll round the corners so I'm gonna go into my coffee dyed paper go back to the back and we should have enough scrap pieces back here that we can cover all of this hopefully I think we do Ooh, that's not wide enough for that one but this is yeah go ahead and cover the back and then we'll round the corners and I will probably stitch on these little tags too just to give them a little bit more interest but that's not something that you need to do it's just that's just me I don't have any brown thread right now though I've got to get more got to run to the dollar store okay so there is that let's go ahead and hopefully this will round the corner I may have to get my big one yeah let's get the big one it doesn't the little one will punch through just about anything and it probably would punch through that but I don't want to put that much stress on it so just get your chomper Isn't that cute? See, I don't mind those little tags like that. All right, we'll tuck this back in the top and then I'll find some toppers for them. That one goes there. This one, let's go ahead and cover it. That will go. Oh, I do have a little tale for y'all about Brooklyn. <laughs> Anytime you get tired of me talking about Brooklyn, you just have to tell me. I don't know that I'll stop, but you can tell me anyway. <laughs> um, I was talking to Alicia this morning and all of a sudden she goes, Brooklyn, stop that. And I said, La, what is she doing now? She said, Mother, she is over at the kitchen faucet at the sink and she is drinking out of the faucet. Instead of getting her a glass and getting water, she's just got her head stuck under there with the faucet on drinking out of the faucet. And she said, Brooklyn, where did you see that at? Why, why are you doing that? And she said, well, I saw Daddy do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Daddy, shame on you. <laughs> but, yeah, she's drinking out of the faucet. She's just lapping it up, Lisa said, like a little dog. But I'm telling you, she, you don't do anything around her that you don't want repeated because she will repeat it. Okay, so that'll slide right in there. And then we need just something little for here. And like I said, I'm probably either gonna use the little tiny tags or I may just stick some little uh, tickets and things down in there. Let me look. I thought I had some little tiny tags right here that someone had sent me, but I may not have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just see what a few of these little tickets look like there. Oh yeah, that would work. A couple of little tickets in there. And then we've got our tag up here and we want a little pull on it. So I'm going to go to Katie's Pulls. She sent some pulls and they're really little and I think they'll look good on there. Let me just find them. Pull out those flowers because I think I might use one of those flowers on there. Might even use that on there. Oh, I know where I put those little things. I didn't put them in there. I moved them. I put all of my toppers in here. Let's see, these are little, I think these are the smallest ones, so let's see what this would, what these would look like. Maybe this one that's got the little bit of blue in it, because there's a little blue in that background. If I can get my fingers in there and get it out, come on little tag. 
You do want to be used. You know you do. Okay, there we go. So see, these are just tiny, tiny little tags. And I don't have a clue where, I'm, I don't know if this is a punch or a die cut or what. So <laughs> you'll just have to leave a question in the comments and maybe Katie will see it and she can answer that question for you. I hate to bug her again. She has already sent me messages letting me know what different things were and I don't want to ask her again, but if you ask in the comments, then maybe she can respond there. Yeah, I think that's cute. All right, that one will go right there. See, just a little tab sticking up. This one is sticking out enough that I don't think we'll need a tab on it. But do we want to put a tab on it? Let's see if we... We can put a tab on it. I don't think it'll hurt anything. You could always cut that down a little smaller if you don't want it sticking out like that. I kind of like that look, so I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to put this lighter color on here. Kind of goes through that little gray that we've got in the background there. Or a little tan, not gray. This is tan there. There we go. We've got our little tab here. Got just some little tickets here. And see, that, that one actually can go down this far. But I'm not going to push it down that far. I just want it tucked in there. And I could even tuck little tags in there if I made some little ones. And like I said, I thought I had some little tiny tags around here that someone sent me. And for some reason, I can't put my fingers on them right now. Oh well, you know what I mean. You can put little bitty tickets in there. Or little tags in there. So let's see if there's one of these flowers. These are actually clips. But we could clip it in there if we wanted to. We could clip it on this way. Make sure I've got that opened. Hung right there. Hold on. Hold the presses. Oh, I see. Put it on the right way and it actually works. See? You can put it on that way and it just looks like a decoration, but it's actually just clipped on. Or you could put it on up here if you wanted to. Let's put it on up here and see what that looks like. Since we've got some of that orange at the bottom. Clip it on there. That's cute. I like that. Let's just leave that there. And I need a little pearl or something to go in the center. And what shall we put there? Let's just put a little black one. Since we've got some black going here, black in the writing. Just put a little black one in there. There you go. Right there. Now you can also come back and put a little label over here or a little piece of doily. I think I had a half of a piece of doily somewhere, but I don't know where it went. I don't know where it has gone to, so I think I'll put that little piece of doily. Let's see. Do I want to put it down there? No. Do I want to put it up there? Maybe right there. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there, and I'll put my word right across that. Okay. Go ahead and put a little ink on this guy. These are just the cutest little doilies. And I've already told this many, many times, but I'll tell it again because I know somebody will ask. She does not have a... Etsy store or a YouTube channel so sorry don't don't know where you can get these you might just try searching on Etsy and see if anybody sells anything like that all right now let's get just a little word 
Uh. <laughs> oh, let's do family. These are from Nancy's Fancy, Nancy's Fancy's Beads on Etsy. Try putting it a little straighter, my dear. There we go. So there is our little pocket. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to make one out of regular junk mail. And we may even make it to where it'll fold the other way. Because this one would go on a page like this that opens up on this side. But if you wanted one on this page, then you would need to put this the opposite way. Because it'd be hard to get your little tag out that way. So let's make one to go the opposite direction. Let's just grab a piece of junk mail. We can use this one. And I'm gonna this one's a, a little narrower than that other. I'm gonna fold it first and just try it out before I do any cutting. Okay, yes, that will work. And so we've got we'll have our opening on this side for that little one. So I am just gonna cut off. I may make this a little bit wider actually. Let's see. I could go to right there and I'd still have lots of room but that way I'll have saved that little piece we're gonna do something with those two okay I'll have a, more room for a little tag there now I'm not gonna worry about this opening because this doesn't even have any plastic in it at all so I'm not gonna worry about that I'm just gonna cover it over with paper now since my envelope is a junk mail envelope. I want to ink all around it so that in case any of that white shows or any of that envelope shows, I'll have it all covered with ink. If you don't want to do that, that is fine. You do not have to, but um, just cover your envelope really good so that you don't have any of that writing showing if you don't want to. And if you want your writing to show, then you can just leave it. Some people don't mind the writing showing and that's okay just gonna ink it like this and then I will definitely ink again when I start to put all my paper and everything on so all right let's put more glue right here that did not go down whoa throw your pocket all around okay we can move that guy out of the way telling you I get in a big mess when I start crafting all right that's cute I like that now let's decide what paper and I'm thinking the only thing is I don't want to lose my deer which I wouldn't necessarily lose him if I go that direction and I yes I am still crafting for fall for my fall journals I've got two more journals for fall to make. I have got most of that of them made, but I've got to put ephemera in them, so that's what I'm still working on. In November, we will start on Christmas. Now, don't put any ink, oh, ink. Don't put any glue right in here, because you don't want to glue your paper on your pocket. So you don't want to glue your pocket together. So when you start to put your paper on, just put your glue around. I just saw our little squirrel again. It got me just distracted. All right, let's cut him off right here. And I'll keep that little bird. And I want to get that part of the butterfly. So that can go over that direction. I really want that flower too, but I'm just going to get part of it, and that's okay. You can't get everything on a small piece like this. So we had the uh, pool people to come out yesterday, and they covered our pool up and put that, you know, that liner on it that or that uh, cover on it that I don't know. They say you can drive a car on there, but I would definitely not do that. But anyway, they put one of the safety covers on for us. And 
This morning, I, when I got up, I got up pretty, pretty early, and when I got up, I looked out the window, and there was a little squirrel out there, our little pet squirrel. He was out there, and he was having himself a time running around on the top of that cover. He would run in one direction, and then would, he would turn around and run in the other direction, and he would... There was a little bit of water sitting on top where it had rained a little bit last night, and it hadn't seeped through yet. And he would drink up that water, and then he'd take off running again. He was the cutest little thing. So I told, told Whit about it when he got up, and he said, Now, if that squirrel starts chewing on that, we're going to have to get rid of a squirrel. <laughs> he said, I can't have him chewing on that. I said, I don't think he'll chew on that. He was just having a good time running around out there. That's probably what my grandkids will want to do, but I won't let them. Because I don't trust those things, even though they say they're safety covers. I still don't trust them. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and punch my little pull up here. Well, I tell you what, let's cut that opening first. That's what we need to do. Cover the other part. So, I'm going to go ahead and ink that again. I like to ink as I go sometimes just to see what i got going and if it looks okay. Now we need to cover this part. And I've got this piece of paper. It's not quite long enough though. So let's see. What else do we have? We have this piece. Oh, it's almost wide enough, but not quite. So let's just see if we can find something that will go. Okay, I've got this piece. That would be pretty. I think this is from the same collection. This is from Hello Susan. And it is her uh, Blue Autumn, I think is the name of this one. But I, you can check her channel out. It's Hello Susan, all one word, on Etsy. She creates some of the prettiest digitals that I have ever seen. Oh, now, if I put that there, I'm going to have two butterflies. If I put this like this, I'm going to lose part of my words. So, we may need to go this direction. And we're going to lose part of gratitude, but that's okay. They'll still be able to read what it says, I think. Begin and end each day with an expression of gratitude. Well, that's pretty neat. Now, again, I'm just going to trim this a little bit past where I actually need it. And then trim up this way. And then I'm going to trim across here. Oh, yeah, we've got gratitude on there. That's neat. I like that. Okay, now let's go ahead and fold this up just so we can tell what everything looks like. Oh yeah, I'm, li I'm liking that. So let's go ahead and cut our little pull right here. And let's see. And I did not get that right in the center, but that's okay. Cut a little pull right here. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this little piece down back here. Okay. Then we shall glue this part down. So let's put our glue from that fold right up to where that stops. And glue that little part down right there. So there is that one. Isn't that cute? Now, you can see all of that, so that's good. Um, now let's come up with some tags that we can put in here. Let's see. What did I do with that? That's the other piece of that. This one probably will be too wide for this because this is a narrow piece here. It's a narrow envelope. Yeah, that one's going to be the right width for that. So... I'm going to cut it right there. I'm just making sure that I've kind of got it even. 
Let's cut it up a little bit higher this time. That will stick up a little bit. So these are working out fantastic for this. It makes my tags thick enough. And I'm using up scraps. And using up junk mail. <laughs> All right, I like to make sure that it fits before I cover it. That way I don't waste my paper. Well, actually, it went down in there further. And I don't know how that happened. I cut it longer. Okay, let's try another one may not have pushed it down the, all the way the other time. Okay, let's push it down as far as it'll go. Okay, that's as far as it says that it'll go. And we're going to cut it off right there. We'll use that other piece on the other one. You know I probably saw the wrong line and cut the wrong line probably what I did. Let's see if this works better. Yep, that one works. Okay, so that one will go there and we need to look at me trying to do the right hand. Left-handed stuff is hard for me, but we can do it. Okay, I'm going to turn it upside down so I can see. Okay, that one's going to be a small one again because of our fold, and that's fine. We can make a little tag. Not a biggie. We're going to cut it right there. And then that will be for another one. That's the right size right there. So... Then, on this, again, I think I'll just tuck little ephemera or something. I may not even tuck those little tickets. I may just cut some little pieces of ephemera and tuck in there. That would work well, I think. All right, let's cover these with some paper. Um, hmm. No, nope, not wide enough. That is plenty wide enough right there. Does it go, though? Okay, I think this paper will actually go better. So we're going to cover it with this. So it has got hot here, and then it got cold here, and then it got really hot again, and today it's very hot and very muggy. So we went from like, I think it was uh, low 40s at night, back up to, you know, it's like 80 something today. I don't know what our weather's doing. Gone crazy. Alicia said, the girls were both woke up with stuffy noses this morning, and I said, it's, it's the weather. The weather will do it when it changes. Wit was a little bit stuffy last night. But he said he was feeling a lot better today. He's been drinking. Um, I'll see if any of you guys have heard of this. He has been drinking pineapple juice. And he said it, somebody recommended pineapple juice to him. And he's been drinking that. And he said it's, it's definitely helped with the, you know, the sinus issues and the drainage and all that stuff. So I told Alicia to get some pineapple juice. And, they need to start drinking that because it's helping him. Okay. I don't think I want the lady on there. Since I'm doing other stuff besides. And I don't want that same piece on there. We could do a tag out of that. That would be okay, I guess. Just more autumn and I could have left this too because that has the little beehives on there but it's okay we'll cover this one I've got plenty more of those in my drawer not to worry all right I need a backer for this you know we could use that for a backing 
but I think I have I think I have more coffee dyed paper. Let me grab it. That looks like it's just the right size, I hope. Let's go ahead and trim this off and then we can see if it is. I'm a little bit tired this morning. We have been trying to get everything lined up and done to go out of town with the kids next week and it always wears me out. And I try to get it all done in a few days. Okay, we'll trim this off and then we'll round these corners. So this will be more, I guess, journaling cards than it will be tags. And that's fine. Sometimes we need the journaling cards more than we do tags. I mean, you can use both of them the same way, but... Oh, that's a lot of bright. But that looks good. I like it. I don't mind it. I'm going to ink this guy up. Put him in there. And that is just the right size for a little quote of some kind. Well, now I can't even get it open. There we go. Now, we can put the pulls on this again, or we can leave it. Both of them are sticking up, so you really wouldn't have to put a pull on it. But I think I want one of these little tags on there. I think they're cute. Oh, I see one that I might want. Come here. Okay. On that one, I may want that one. Or, no, this one. This one. That one. And then up here, we need one that's got some green in it, maybe. And not so much orange. That one will work. Well, really, there's not any green in here, is it? Hmm. Okay, let's do this one. I like that better. Yeah, lighter. Sometimes lighter is better when you've got a lot of bright colors like that. I'm just going to put those right there. I don't have to keep trying to get them in and out of that little bag. With big fingers, little bags just don't work. Oh, that looks like two, but it's not. It's just one. That is so cute. That flower is the same color of that flower on there. Oh, yes, I like that. And then we'll put this one up here. And then I need some little something right there. What do we need? All right, I think I will tear this little bird out and put him there. I need a little bird, but I don't have a little tiny one. So we're going to use this one. Yeah, we'll use him. And I'm just going to cut around him a little. I'm not going to cut too close. Just trim around him a little bit to give him the shape of a little birdie. I'm going to put a little ink on him just to cover up any of that that I didn't get cut out. Now, we don't need him floating in the air, especially since he doesn't have any legs. So, we need to put him on a little branch or something. Just try a little piece of lace there and let him sit on the lace, maybe. Can't even tell. I don't even think you can see that piece. Okay. Let's do something different. Maybe a little piece of bling and he could sit on the bling. Nope. Not liking that. What about this little piece? Okay, I'm going to put a little piece of this brown trim down here. And I think he can sit on that and he won't look like he's just floating around there with no legs. Poor baby. Ended up with no legs. I probably cut his legs off. I didn't see them, but I probably cut them off. That's okay. It's okay. We're going to give him a little nest. A little nesting place. He doesn't have to have any legs to nest. 
There we go. We can tuck him right there. It looked just like he's got a little nest made there. That brown trim. Nobody will ever be the wiser that his legs are gone. Okay. So that is that one. And then up here, I will probably just make some little tiny tags and tuck in up here. Let's see. We could go ahead and make one for that. Let's just glue this down on here. Just another scrap. That'll be one little tag. And then let's cut another piece here. And we shall make two out of this one. Got to cut them straight first though. Whoops, I need that one over here. That one is too long for that little area. I was trying to use all of that over there up, but. All right, let's use a little bit of this to put our backing on these little tags. I'll do it this way so that we can ride on the back of that. Oh, and I wanted to let you guys know, and the ones that are still watching, isn't that something? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, in November, we're, we're starting something new, and it, um, I, it will be in the newsletter that will go out. But it's called, what am I going to call it? I don't know yet what I'm going to call it. You'll see it in the newsletter. But what it amounts to is make sure that you watch all the way to the end of the videos because we are going to be giving random giveaways away. And if you're not watching all the way to the end, then you may miss something. We'll, we'll put different things up. We may one day put up a discount code to the store and you have to be watching certain, you know, there's, it'll just be in a certain place and just for like a split second. So you have to be watching in order to see that. So we could put it at the very end of the video, the middle of the video, you know, be different places. And then maybe the next day we put uh, a gift card to Amazon or something. We may put that code up there and you have to make sure that you see that code and then you have to be the first to email us and let us know that you have seen that code and what the code is that in order to win plus you know like i said and always you have to be a subscriber but that way you know you can everybody gets the same shot so it will encourage you to click on the videos as soon as we put them up it will encourage, encourage you to watch the video to the end because there may be a big surprise in there for you. And I know some people say, well, you know, I can't watch them until I get home from work. And I understand that. We will be putting videos up at different times of the day. So it'll go in different times for different areas. You know, we won't put them all up at the same time. So you'll have plenty of chances to win. But that's going to be the whole, it's going to run for the whole month of November. We're going to call it our 30 days of Christmas giveaways. But like I said, you do have to watch in order to win. Because I don't know any other way you're going to be able to get those little bitty codes that I slip in there in different places and they're not going to be bright they're going to be very very subtle I'm not going to tell that the code's going to be in there you just have to watch and see if it is <laughs> I'm sneaky that way I just think it'll be fun it'll just be another little game that we can play and I think it'll be a lot of fun and it's a way for me to give back to you guys for all that you do for me. I was going to call it Whit's Birthday Giveaway, but 
He didn't like that idea. His birthday's the second of November. He didn't like that idea too much. He said, nope, you're not gonna give away anything for my birthday. <laughs> Oh, uh, he said, call it something else. That didn't sound right. So, okay. So there are our little tiny tags in there. Okay, guys, that is our little, what would we call these? Um, crisscross, let's call them crisscross pockets that made out of junk mail. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe because on each one of these videos you're going to need to leave a comment and if you are chosen for the winner you have to be a subscriber to our channel we do check that all right we will talk to you guys later thanks so much for watching bye bye